Trip District has become a very popular spot for both the locals and visitors, but an armed robbery this weekend at a well-known restaurant has the local neighborhood concerned. Money editor John Delano has more. An armed robbery early Sunday morning at Pamela's, a breakfast and lunch destination in the Strip District, has local neighborhood leaders worried. We are seeing a little bit more incidents of either uh, car break-ins, um, but more alarmingly, things like this, which are armed robbery, which, um, you know, that's some major stuff. Mike Lee, who runs Strip District Neighbors, an organization that represents residents, merchants, and property owners in the Strip, sees an uptick in crime, but insists... We have the lowest crime stats in the city. We've never thought of the Strip as an unsafe neighborhood. It's always been like family. But shortly before 5 a.m., two males wearing hoods, one armed, tied up an employee as he was opening the restaurant and stole an undisclosed amount of cash. We're not going to give up on this. The police have agreed to have a presence here early in the mornings. So if there, anybody has any idea of coming back quickly, that won't work. The restaurant was open for business as usual. Pamela's had some motion lighting officials out here Monday morning, and they're certainly looking to upgrade their security. It turns out that's something a lot of shop owners in the Strip are considering as well. Chris Mikred, who owns DeLuca's Diner, another popular strip restaurant, says she has cameras inside, but is now likely to add some outside. I'm looking at thinking of adding that on to, I always did want to do that, but just never got around to it. It's good to have. Christian Fletcher owns Pennsylvania Libations, which sells Pennsylvania liquor right around the corner from Pamela's. I felt really, really sick kind of to the stomach in a sense that something like that could happen so close to home. I thought about my employees, about the fact that they come in and open up um, early in the morning, but I guess you could say another step was that we don't do a lot of cash business at our place. I would say 90 are with credit cards when Pamela's is solid cash. Fletcher, who just opened a year ago, says he also has state-of-the-art security at his liquor store with two-way sound. If somebody happened to break in, I could literally get on my phone, say, hey, I can see you, and you're already caught, so you might as well just lay down on the ground. Lee says his association is working with local police on strategies to keep the strip safe. We are expanding our preventative measures uh, and our ability to catch perpetrators. Now some of those strategies could include a stronger police presence with police walking the streets. Another approach is to link all the privately owned cameras with city cameras to create something called a virtual block watch, allowing police near instant access to any crime about to happen. With the strip so popular with locals and visitors alike, everyone says what happened at Pamela's this weekend cannot be allowed to be repeated. Stacy.